So today's video, we're diving into Microsoft Outlook boards, which is a feature within Microsoft that you can customize to include a range of different things from your calendar to your upcoming tasks, to even in the future, some of the live components that Microsoft will be adding very soon. Now, today's video is hosted by Matt, who is from Collaboration Coach. I highly recommend checking out his channel. If you want to dive into Microsoft, it is fantastic content there. And he has a really great manner in explaining everything. So do check out both Collaboration Coach and Keep Productive if you're new here. So without further ado, a guide to getting started with Outlook boards. Hi everyone, my name's Matt and I'm the host of the Collaboration Coach YouTube channel. Thank you so much for having me back on Keep Productive, it's always a pleasure. And this time we're gonna look at Outlook boards. Boards are a feature of Outlook on the web and they are a personal productivity app that integrates with your Office 365 mailbox and with many of the other Microsoft apps like OneDrive and Todo. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of what boards are, why they're useful, and hopefully get you using them too. To get started, you need to open Outlook on the web from the browser and go to your calendar. Go to your view menu on the right hand side, pull it down and choose board. When you land on the board for the first time, you'll see the calendar, tasks and notes widgets. These are the key ones as they integrate with Outlook, OneNote and To Do. And you can add others too, We'll look at those later, but let's start with the calendar. As you'd expect, the calendar widget pulls information from your mailbox. I can move around the calendar view by paging through the weeks and the months. And I can change the view to agenda, four days, weekly and monthly. I can add new events. And I can manage existing ones. I can also add other calendars to this view. If I add Sarah's calendar, for example, I'll see her meetings on this view too. Each widget on the board can be resized and moved around. On the calendar, if I choose the ellipsis here and choose to resize, it gives me some handles that I can move around. Or I can just use the arrows. When I move the calendar, you can see a grid lights up behind it, and then the widget will snap to that grid. I can even drop the calendar on top of other widgets on the board. I can add new widgets to the board using the Add to Board dropdown. I get a list of things to add, and they get placed on the board, and I can move them around and resize them as soon as they're there. I can select them, which gives me some more options on this ribbon up here. And I can choose the ellipsis to get that same list of options. So there are all sorts of widgets like weather, clocks, And goals looks cool because you can set a due date for the goal and it adds it to your calendar. And I can obviously remove any of the widgets I add as well. So if you like what you've seen so far, then please check out our YouTube channel, Collaboration Coach. We post videos like this one every week on all the Microsoft apps and services like Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, and many, many more. We've got hundreds of videos there now, so I'm sure you'll find something that you're interested in. Make sure you check us out over at Collaboration Coach. Okay, so now back to boards and let's have a look at zooming because I think this is one of the coolest features. So I can zoom in and out of the board using the magnifying glass here and I can reset the zoom to take me back to the original view. I can move the board around by clicking and dragging and this window in the bottom right shows me where on the board I am. And I seem to be able to move as far away as I like. So the board seems to be infinite. I haven't been able to find the edge anyway. 
But let's assume it's infinite because I love that idea. Because it means that I can have different areas on the same board for the different things that I'm working on. And I can move around and zoom in when I need them. For example, I've got a green set of widgets for one project on one part of the board and a blue set for another project over here. You can also lock the view with this toggle. And when you do that, nothing can be moved or resized. A new feature just rolling out now is the ability to create new boards. So the board that you start with is your default board. And if you come to the top right corner here and choose the drop down, you can go to the board option and choose this arrow here, which will show you that we're on the default board, which is signified by a tick. And we can choose new board and that will ask us to name our board. And once it's created, you'll see the standard widgets, calendar tasks and notes. And you see we're on Matt's board and we can switch back to the original default board anytime we like. Boards have OneNote integration too. I can use the notes widget here to capture stuff. So I could just start typing or paste something in or add an image. Whatever I add to my board, it will show up in the OneNote feed. The OneNote feed lets me reuse the things I add as notes when I'm using email or calendar and the OneNote app. For example, if I add an image into this note widget on my board, I can also see it if I pull down the OneNote feed panel with this button here. What's in the feed can also be used in an email. So when I'm writing a message, I can pull up the feed in the same way and drag that image into my message. And when I'm in OneNote, I can pull up the feed again and drag things out of it onto my pages. So now let's look at the tasks integration. From this task widget, I can see and add tasks. And these tasks are pulled from Microsoft's to-do app and any emails that I flag in Outlook. I can see the default my task list and also my day and any flagged email from this drop down here. And I can flag a task as important. And I can also right click it and edit the task and do things like add a reminder or set the due date. Emails I flag in Outlook will show up here in the flagged emails list. And any tasks I add with the to do app will also show up here in the task list. And if I add tasks to the board, they'll also show up in to do. I can add them to my day if that's what I'm going to work on that day. Plus, I can drag tasks from the task list straight onto my calendar to schedule some time to get that work done. I can always complete the task when I've done the work and that will remove it from the list. And finally, collections can bring all your widgets together as one. Well. You can add a collection to your board and name it. And this is going to be my project collection. You can add a color and a due date. And then you just add all the widgets to the collection by dragging them onto it. So I'm going to drag all my project related widgets onto this collection. When you resize a widget, the collection will resize with it. And now I can move the collection around the board as one. So that's how you get started with Outlook boards. For personal productivity, I think it's really good for pulling all sorts of separate apps together so they're all in one place. It's totally customizable, so it can be anything you want and there's plenty of board space to have different work areas. And you can create your own new boards. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.